Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. I am Gajo Amit Hassan, currently completing my undergrad in Druid. Well, that's a quick introduction, right? Now let's jump into the video. In this video, we are going to learn about a priori algorithm and we are going to solve a real world problem by using a priori algorithm in Python. Well, to be more specific, this video is divided into two parts. First is the is the theoretical part where we are going to learn about the priori algorithm what things we need to learn and the basics to implement them and on the second phase we are going to implement the learnings in a data set and get some insights well so let's jump into the video well this is the first part the priori algorithm basics well what is a priori algorithm well a priori algorithm is a machine learning algorithm that is used to gain insights into the structured relationship between different items involved. And it's a data mining technique that is used for mining the frequent item sets and relevant association rules. Well, let me make things simpler to you. Well, we all have done some online shopping, right? So when you click on a particular product that is added in your cart, and if you want to check out the our cart then we can see some ads of the products that are basically associated with our buying thing well that is a application of a priori algorithm okay so it means recommendation system recommending products based on your purchased item you can see this in different e-commerce website right well the things now the things that we need to about a priori algorithm before implementing them. First is association rule. Well, it defines frequent patterns and associations with or relations among the set of items. As an example, if you went to a market to buy a keyboard, then you also might get a mouse, right? So the seller wanted to place them one after another to get some more profit. Well, that's the application of a priori algorithm. And this is the example of association rule. And then our next term is support. Well, support refers to the default popularity of an item and can be calculated by finding the numbers of transactions containing a particular item divided by total number of transactions. Well, let's find out the support of our keyboard. Well, the support of keyboard is the transaction containing the keyboard divided by the total transaction. That's so simple, right? Next is confidence. Well, confidence refers to the likelihood of an item B, maybe a mouse, is also brought if an item A is also brought. So, like our keyboard and, and mouse example, the confidence of mouse and keyboard is the transaction containing both keyboard and mouse divided by transaction of containing keyboard. So, this is the confidence. And the last but not the least, is the lift. Well, lift of keyboard and mouse refer to the increase in the ratio of, of cell of mouse when the keyboard is sold. The lift of mouse and keyboard can be calculated by dividing the confidence and the support. Well, this is the equation of calculating the lift. Well, I am attaching this PDF in my description box for your better understanding. Well, now the second phase that is implementing the a priori algorithm in the data set. Moving on, so first of all, we are importing the necessary libraries that is NumPy, Pandas, and from ML extend the frequent patterns. So we are importing the a priori and the association rules. And the data set that I am using in this video can be found in UCI Machine Learning Repository. I will provide the link in the description box. Please do check that. And if you click in the link, then it will redirect you to the USA machine learning for website. So moving back. So first of all, we are loading our data. Then let's show it, show the data. Well, so in uh, in the column, we can see that it has invoice long, stock code, description, quantity, invoice date, etc. So now we want to know about the rows and columns in our data set. For that, let's run this cell. So it says that there are several columns in the data set and 
by running this shell that uh, data dot shape we can see the number of rows and columns and on the next cell we are checking whether there is a null value or pres is present in our in this data set or not for that let's run this cell so it gives us a true it means there are some null values in the data set so we have to deal with them so now let's see that in which columns there are some uh, what kind of cell? null values <laughs> so let's run this cell so it says that the description box or column has some null values and the customer IDs has some null values so now the second is second phase is data preprocessing part so first of all we are stripping the extra spaces in the description box then dropping the rows so with that has no invoice numbers in it and the next we are dropping all the transaction which are done in the credit on the next cell now we want to see which countries are present in the data set so by running this cell you can see that there are several countries like united kingdom france australia netherlands etc are present in the data set so now we are splitting the data according to the region of transaction so for this video i am only doing the transaction of france so for that i am selecting the country france here well after selecting this okay so now we are applying one hot encoding to make the data much more suitable so let's run it so now suppose we want to analyze the market trend of France so for that applying one hat encoding in the France data so let's apply it and run this cell to get more insight so well what this output says is that the invoice norm this 70 has brought the tea towels and he or she hasn't bought other items that means zero okay so I hope you understand the data set. Okay, so now we have to build the model. For building the model, I'm creating a data item set that is frequent item set. We're calling a priori and loading the friends data here. And we are uh, defining the minimum support is 0 0.1 and use column names is true. Uh, so now we are collecting the inferred rules in our data frame. By uh, For using that, we are using the association underscore rule function we are loading the frequent item sets here and we are using the metric lift here and keeping the minimum threshold one so on the next line we we are going to sort them according to their confidence and lift values so let's run this cell well now let's print the rules well so you can see that there is association rule between the paper plates and paper cups and these are the support and confidence values and the lift values associated with them so what we can understand by this output is that it can be seen that the paper cups and plates are brought together in France this is because the French have a culture of having get together with their friends and family at least once a week so you can get these kinds of insights by using a priori algorithm so that's quite interesting right well this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this video well if you have any kind of query or questions about this video please leave a comment below and i will try to answer them accordingly and all the all the important links and the notebook and my github account profile links all will be in the description box please do check them well, thank you for staying with me. Goodbye.